What are the real differences between the main types of panels on the market? What does it mean if a monitor is TN, VA or IPS? Keep an eye on this video, because you will be shocked with the remarkable differences between the different technologies. I have done all the tests so you don't have to, using four monitors with different characteristics. This video is part of Digizone's monitor buying guide, which is already available on the channel. You can head over to that video after watching this one, to learn even more relevant keys and get your purchases right. I hope you like this video a lot, but be careful, if you want to see more videos like this one on the channel, it is very important that you subscribe, since the vast majority who watch the videos are not subscribed, and bringing relevant content is complicated if our community does not grow in numbers. See also the description to follow us on other networks, such as TikTok or Instagram, and above all, add our affiliate links from Amazon and Newegg to your bookmarks. That way, despite paying the same price for your online purchases, you will be contributing directly to this channel. The type of panel the monitor is mounted on is a very important key that you should take into account before buying. There are several types, and each has characteristics that affect color rendering and response times, among other things. In this video we will be differentiating three main types of panels, which are the most commonly used in monitors currently available on the market. I'm talking about TN, VA and IPS panels. Sound familiar? Well, below we are going to compare three monitors that I have around here. One of them is TN, the other VA, and the third is IPS. Obviously then we have a lot of variety of monitors with the same panel, and between the best IPS monitor and the worst there is also a significant difference, but as it is not feasible to compare all monitors on the market, let's try these three examples. I tell you that the results are already very representative. You will see everything very clear. We are going to review different important sections in a monitor, to see the main differences between these types of monitors. Let's start with one of the keys, which is the color representation. In the three monitors I have put a completely black video, but here we see very clear differences between the three monitors. The depth of the blacks is very important in a monitor that is going to be used to view quality content, and here we see how the TN panel especially lags far behind, and shows us a practically gray color and with a lot of light. The backlighting of the background is not turned off as in OLED panels that we see in TVs, and consequently it becomes impossible to get a pure black. The other panels achieve a better result, but the VA panel stands out above all, as it is the best at representing the color black. Let us now see what happens if we play a video with high contrast and many vivid colors. Here we also see many differences in the way of interpreting the image, and again, the TN panel is the one in third place, with an IPS panel that would be the most vibrant and the one that in this case I like the most, followed closely by the VA monitor. However, be careful with some IPS panels, which also tend to suffer from light leakage, which affects the visual experience quite a bit. The second key I mentioned is the response time of the monitor. A feature that is especially important in competitive games. This feature measures the time it takes for the monitor to refresh its pixels. Depending on the color of the pixel that needs to change, the time is usually different, and the response time that monitors give us is usually the fastest the time it takes to jump from one gray pixel to another gray pixel. This is known as the gray to gray response time. On paper, here we have three monitors with different response times, and the TN monitor is the one that stands out, as it is the type of monitor that enables the best response times on average. In this case, we see these response times advertised by each monitor. What does this translate to in practice? Well, to a difference that is very difficult to measure, and that I personally cannot even perceive when the differences are so small. If we take it to the extreme, an exaggerated response time would be like playing with lag, and everything you do would take too long to happen on screen, something extremely uncomfortable. In competitive games is where this feature could matter the most, and many professional competitive players do notice that difference of milliseconds, but at my level it is impossible. If you are an advanced gamer who wants to reduce PC reaction times as much as possible, choosing a monitor with a low response time of 1 millisecond or less would be important, but for people like me, non-skilled casual gamers, a 4 milliseconds monitor like this IPS is still just as good, and noticing the differences is extremely difficult. Of course, there are image errors that in games are popularly known as ghosting, which are much more likely to happen in monitors with higher response times. Something to keep in mind. But then, what type of panel should you choose depending on your needs? Well, 
I think you already know the answer to this question. If you value image quality and correct color rendering, an IPS panel might be the way to go. This group could include all image and video editors or gamers of games where the graphics are spectacular. If you want to play games but without losing that image quality and you are looking for the monitor to continue to represent colors well, a VA panel is the ideal choice. Currently there are VA options with response times that are at the level of TN panels, so we could say that it is an ideal balance. Finally, TN panels are today almost exclusively for gamers who value the speed of their monitor the most, and I would say it is a niche option. They are the least interesting monitors for the general public, since especially in the older models, they lose a lot of image quality to achieve that improvement in response times, which will also remain imperceptible by the vast majority of people. Their price can be an interesting plus, and it is true that the newer TNs have improved a lot, but they are still behind for many reasons, according to the tests carried out. What is your favorite technology and what type of monitor are you going to choose after watching this video? Leave a comment below so we can all discuss everyone's preferences. If you want help in choosing your next monitor, you have the complete guide to monitors that we recently uploaded to the channel. There you can discover more important keys that will help you make a more informed decision that you won't regret. Choosing a monitor is much more complex than you might expect, as there are so many factors that come into play. For my part, I don't have much more to add. I just want to tell you that if you liked the video, I would greatly appreciate your subscription and your like, because this kind of super guides take a lot of time and work. That said, I'll see you with more and better content, see you next time, bye.